Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Pixie again. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Pixie. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever you happy to be doing when you're watching this. I'm fabulous, doing it fabulously and safely, and I have words. Oh my goodness. I'm overthinking this next project of mine, which is why I can't talk, and this is why it's awkward. So cheers. Because it's a mess. I'm like, I just need to dive into it. And record it, of course. But it's like terrifying me. Cheers. So, our front entrance type room, that's probably supposed to be um, a mud room, so to speak. Like, in my mind, the washer and dryer should be in there instead of the kitchen, but that's just the way this house is laid out. So we converted it to my original computer room and vanity. And then once upon a time, we thought we were moving, so I packed the whole thing up. And I've been slowly getting my makeup out of storage and stuff. Um, and the stuff that was in said office. But now I want to, since we're clearly not moving for a while because of the housing crisis, it sucks. Um, now I want to redo that whole room, put some things in storage, donate some things, just redo it, make my sewing room in vanity. So I bought a couple things. It's just become like a mass collective of like, where do we put this? I don't know, throw it in that room kind of thing. And I kind of want it to be organized chaos again like it was before, but this time a sewing and craft room. This room I'm in right now is getting out of control because I don't have that space anymore and I don't have places to put stuff like my art journal stuff. Um, I also want to redo the walls in that room and eventually record in that room and switch it up depending on what I'm recording, maybe unboxings only, get ready with me only in those ro that room. But yeah, um, I'm going to show you the couple of things I did get towards that room. I also got a brand new rug, but you'll just see it because it's a full-size rug. I'm not going to lug it in here and show you on the camera. You'll just see me unroll it when I'm ready for it. But the first thing I got was, it's supposed to be a shoe rack, but you'll see it. It's just a four-tier little like metal shelf. Um, you probably know the type as soon as I say shoe rack. But uh, there's some pantry stuff that's kind of spilled over into that room, like trash bags and laundry detergent cat treats you know it's just kind of like where do we put this stuff like I said just put it on my old desk because there's already crap on it um, so I figured I could put like the laundry stuff and the cat food and the trash bags on this and I will show you building it and I'll just put a picture or like a little clip of me putting it together and being frustrated so I'll link this down below if you end up liking it. I did it get it did get it on Amazon and like I said, its intentions were a shoe rack, but I was like, nope, I need that. It's gonna go in the kitchen next to our actual pantry thing. And then I got a candle. This wasn't really for that room, but I'm happy this candle finally came. This is by Door County Candle Company. My sister told mom and I about this candle company, and they had a special candle come out. Like I said, this has really nothing to do with the room unless I put the candle in said room when I'm done with it. But proceeds, if you bought this candle, went to Ukraine and people in need in Ukraine. And this candle took over four weeks to get because so many people were buying this candle that they sold out and they were back ordered. So I finally got it. Okay, yeah, here we go. Um, not sponsored. We bought these with our own money. Thank you for purchasing Door County Candle Company's Ukraine Candle. 100% of profits from this Ukraine candle will be donated to Razom for Ukraine. It's a 501c3 organization. And then here's the link. I'll put all the information down below if you want to buy this candle. But trust me, it took forever because so many people are buying it. My sister got it first and then we ordered two. And it wasn't cheap. Uh, for two candles, it was $59.90. So they're $30 each roughly. Then it was $9 flat rate. So it came to $68.90, but it's two candles, and they're, oh, here's like the card and stuff. I'll link it down below, like I said. Um, it's a really decent looking candle, so it's like a little fat jar. And there are the Ukraine flag colors, and you can see it says Door County Candle Company Ukraine. And it just says stop and smell the candles, that's cute. Um, and the typical place on heat resistant surface, do not leave unattended. Straight vanilla. It's amazing. It's very strong. Like, mom opened it on my porch so I could give her hers. And she was sitting across the porch, and I have a big screen in porch. And I was like, I can smell it. Like, as soon as she took the lid off, I was like, I can smell your candle. But it's a single wick. I don't see any bubbles in the jar at all. 
and it's just a beautiful candle and it goes to a beautiful organization so worth the wait I think and the price but there's that so I can put this out somewhere I'm very happy to have it and to help Ukraine and people in need and the last thing I got oh, it's heavy it looks like my cats were sleeping on it because I've had this for a minute. I got a new 10 inch mini ring light. Um, I have one already, but I don't have one that changes colors. So this like, you can see like red, green, blue. Uh, it has a bunch of different settings. I'll link this down below as well. I haven't even opened it. So I'll set that up once we get to it because it's going to be a while before I'm like actually like putting this stuff together because let me show you the room. I'm scared and embarrassed that we let it get like this. But like I said, we thought we were moving. So like I packed up half the stuff and then it just became a catch all and it happens. You know, the chaos of life, like, oh, drop the mail there, drop like the donation stuff there, drop my abandoned projects because I need to uncover my sewing machine, put it over there. There's just a pile of stuff. It's like a built in desk and then a vintage desk and I'll put the mirror back on and like set up my vanity again so yeah that's what I got for that room and a candle uh, and a rug and the candle you just saw which I don't know where I'm gonna put that candle yet excuse me it could actually be in that room but I just figured I'd show you the candle while we were here let me go show you the room I'm terrified of <laughs> and then I'm just gonna speed up speed up clips of me cleaning the crap out of it so let's do this let's go into the other room if you've been here for a while, you probably remember the na the room, but it has been a while since I've even recorded in it, even before I started packing this stuff up. But the fact that I now do my art journal and my closet and my computer and my makeup in here, I just need like that room back in my possession. And I've been using the guest room as places to store my stuff for Poshmark. So there's some stuff I want to sell in that room that we're going to move to the guest room and so on and so forth, so forth because nobody lives with us right now. Knock on wood. But they don't come back because we don't have a guest bed anymore. So I just figured that would be a good way to like hang my clothes and take pictures and post them on Poshmark without you seeing the background of other clothes and empty hangers that I need to put. I need to hang clothes. Anyway room let me show you the embarrassment okay bye okay please don't come at me for letting a room get like this but there's the rug i bought see there's like pantry stuff and i'm sorry about the lighting dryer sheets laundry pods laundry pods trash bags a whole pile of poshmark stuff this was my vanity just stuff hi cotton and stuff. You want out? Okay. Like, that's my makeup cart, but you can see it's empty because half of my makeup is still in boxes. And this is where my sewing machine should go. This is where my computer used to be. See, so I started decorating right here which is cute, but I'm, these shelves are just going to waste. I took everything off the walls. Those are all my projects. Um, this is actually a box covering my sewing machine. These are lamps I can't find lampshades for. These are cardboard pieces I saved for a fairy house project with said fairy stuff in it. Like, I could probably break down this cardboard and just find other cardboard when I finish that dollhouse. Uh, sewing supplies, zippers, yeah. This is actually a built-in desk. You'd never be able to tell that there's a desk under here. So let's get to it. And then I'm going to paint the desk and make it all nice for my sewing machine. And, and then craft stuff over here. Like sewing machine here, there's a chair. Extra fabric, sheets with holes in them. You know, <laughs> just stuff. Uh, a shelf not really getting much use. Felt for when I was making cat toys. A random box probably with nothing in it. Some kind of holder thing I never used. 
a camera bag that doesn't fit my camera. Just stuff. Stuff. Why do you look guilty? Patton. Hi, baby. Oh, look, behind him. Paper towels that don't need to be in here. And my broom, which I'll probably need. And yarn I haven't accessed in two years because this room has been a mess. Um, reusable bags that I should put in my car for thrifting and grocery shopping, but I keep forgetting to. Just whatever the hell's in these. Cookie cutters. Those don't belong in here. Depop stuff. Mop head. Yeah, let's get to it. Don't call me a hoarder. I'm not like this. <laughs> in my defense, we thought we were moving. Ronnie can leave his hat work hats there. I'll allow it. Okay, so it's not bad progress. Hello. Um, I mean, it is 1.30 in the morning when I decided to start this. But this made a huge difference because that stuff belongs with the washer and dryer. I just started a pile in the kitchen. I'll put it away tomorrow. Like, that goes to the guest room with the other Poshmark stuff. There's some books and some blank canvases I need to go on my art shelf. Um, cat food's always there. <laughs> I need to wash that unicorn backpack. You can't tell but I did clear a little bit of this off. Like these are rugs. Spare rugs. I know the backing is terrible but they still do the trick. And there's a donation bag. That's a small trash pile. So I feel like the healthiest way to do this room is it's hot in here. <laughs> um, the easiest way to do this room for me is a little bit at a time, like every day. Like I just did the vanity and take a break and revisit it tomorrow because it's just gonna be so overwhelming to decide what to do with all this stuff and then like rehanging the shelves I had. So 
every day I'll do a little bit. I'll record what I can and then I can't wait to like decorate the walls because I have an overflow of mini ears now and they could think, I think they look really good where that painting is. Maybe at the top, I don't know. I might take that painting down, but little by little, we'll get this room done and hopefully it'll be like a cozy little office vanity for me again. Sewing room, vanity, office, art room, whatever you want to call it. So till tomorrow, yay.